started today coming into a seated position at the front of your mat. So go ahead and bring your feet forward, grounding your sit bones on the mat. Go ahead and reach the arms forward as you take a deep breath in. And then on your exhalation, begin to slowly roll your back all the way down onto your mat. Once your back touches the floor, hug your knees into the chest. Bring your forehead into the knees first. Just taking a moment to find your breath, reconnect with your body, stretching out your back, your shoulders, and then take your hands behind your knees and begin to extend the legs as you drop your head all the way down onto the mat. Just finding this gentle stretch through your hamstrings and then bending the knees, bringing your head up again, forehead to touch the knees, flex your feet, extend the legs, drop the head back again. And again, bend the knees, roll up forehead to the knees, flex the feet, extend the legs as your head drops down. And last time, go ahead and bend the knees, roll up, and then flex the feet, come down with your head, flex the feet and hold. Feel free to give the back of your legs a little bit of a massage here, rubbing your hands up and down the back of your hamstrings. And then from here, go ahead and reach for your ankles or the outsides of your feet, bend your knees and come into your happy baby pose. As you bend your knees, think about bringing them as close to the ground. And if you wish, you can add a little bit of a rock left and right to go a little bit deeper into the hips. If you wish to not rock and just stay still, you can also do that. Just really focus on pulling the knees as close to the ground as you can with each exhalation. Welcoming more oxygen into the hip joints. Inhale, exhale. Good, just hold. Breathing deeply, really focusing on your breathing here. As we push the body to new levels of flexibility, connecting with our breath is going to be crucial in today's practice. All right, let's come out. Go ahead and extend the legs. And at this time, lowering your right leg all the way down as you grab onto that left ankle. Flexing the left foot. Just hold it here. Just breathing, trying to get that leg as close towards your body as possible while keeping the other hip down. Now I'm going to take a deep breath in. On your exhalation, point the toes and lift up. Try to touch your shin to your forehead. Inhale, drop your head down, flex the foot. Exhale, point the foot, lift up slightly. Again, flex the foot. Exhale, point forehead to your shin. Inhale down as you flex the foot. Exhale, point and lift up. Really try to get that head as close towards the leg as possible while pulling the leg close towards your body. Really getting deep into the hamstring here. Well done, you guys. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release the body. And now as you're continuing to hold onto that ankle, begin to pull the leg even closer. If you find this particular posture too challenging for you, you can always use a yoga strap or even a belt from your clothes to help you go deeper. All right, let's release. Both legs come back up towards the sky. Exhale, switch legs. Now grab your right ankle and allow the left leg to lower all the way down. Let's go ahead and lift and touch your forehead to the shin and release, inhale. Exhale, lift, forehead touches the knee and lower. Exhale, lift for three. Inhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lift up and lower down. And let's do that again. Lift up. Each time you come up, go a little bit further than the last. Touch that forehead to the knee or the shin. Keep pulling the leg closer towards your body. Keep breathing. Deep, deep breaths here. Beautiful. One more inhale. Exhale. Lower the head all the way down. And just continue to hold on to that ankle. You can walk your hands up or down the leg, whatever is more comfortable for you. Or like I said, you can also use a strap here and place the strap over the foot and then hold on to the sides of the yoga strap to pull it closer towards your body. 
All right, let's release the leg. Inhale, reach the arms over your head. Exhale, roll yourself up to seated, reaching both arms up to the sky. And then from here, let's readjust the body and come into our seated head to toe forward fold, bending from your hips, grabbing onto the ankles or the feet and allowing your body to come over top of your legs. So your belly, your chest is falling over top of your thighs. You're folding from your hip crease. So remember, you wanna try and keep your back as straight as possible here. Relax, close your eyes if you need to. And once again, bring your awareness to your breath, allowing your breath to guide you a little bit further each time. Inhale, exhale, let's release. Come on up to seated, reach the arms up to the sky. And then from here, bend your knees, you're gonna cross the ankles and come on up into your plank position. Shoulders above your wrist. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Let's open up the body as we inhale into Upward Facing Dog. And then as you exhale, press into the hands, lift up and release Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful, just breathe here. Allowing the heels to release further and further towards the floor. Inhale. Now on your exhale, I want you to extend and point the right toes. You're going to kick the right leg up into three-legged dog and then lower it down for one. Kick it up as high as you can, lower all the way for two. Kick and three. Kick and four. So the movement is controlled. However, you're adding just that little bit of motion at the very top in your three-legged dog. Trying to get that leg as high as you can. Kick and lower. And kick again, not too aggressive, still wanna have that control. All right, let's stop in that three-legged dog and just hold it here. Breathing deeply, lift that leg as high as you can. Keep the shoulders square, bend the knee, and then step it towards the front of your mat between your two hands. Drop the back knee, and let's reach both arms all the way up towards the sky in our low lunge. Palms of your hands together, bend your elbows. Drop the hips forward so you're feeling that stretch through the psoas. And then placing both of your hands onto your front knee and just allowing that to be a bit more of a support for you as you allow your hips to drop even further. All right, let's release the arms out towards the side of your body. Open up the chest, inhale, and then exhale, hands down. Lift your back knee and extend the front knee into your pyramid. We're gonna do that a couple times. Bend the back knee, low lunge, arms come back as you open the chest. Hands to the front, extend into pyramid. Bring it down, open the chest, arms back. Bring it forward, extend into your pyramid pose. Bend the back knee, open up the body, make sure the front knee stays on top of your ankle. Hands back down, extend, and holding this pyramid posture. Making sure that your hips are square, so keep pulling that right hip back, gently pushing the left hip forward allowing your body to relax over top of that leg. Your back heel is lifted to make sure your hips are square and you're not putting any pressure on that back knee. Just keep breathing. Remember to work with the breath. Your breath is going to guide you into deeper levels of your flexibility. You're doing great, all right. Now slowly come on up about halfway. What we're gonna do here is start to move our way into a full split. So wiggle your back foot to the back of your mat, front foot to the front of your mat. Walk your hands a little closer towards the center of your body. Then keep going. And you're gonna come to a point that feels the best for you. So wherever your limit is, you're gonna stop there and just hold. Try to keep your hips square. If you need to bend the back knee and support it like this, you can do so as well. So coming into more of a half split, but opening the chest. So you can stay here, you can use blocks if you need to, or continue to lower until you make your way down into your full split. So no matter how high you are from the floor, go ahead and just find that position and breathe into it. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to focus and breathe through any uncomfort and sensations you may be feeling right now. When we work on our flexibility, it's very important to be patient with your body. Never force yourself beyond your limitation. 
with patience, with dedication, and with hard work, if you do this every day, little bit by little bit, your body will start to let go. But you must be patient and gentle with yourself. So just keep breathing. Remember, with that exhalation, you can start to add a little bit more pressure if you can. Beautiful job, you guys. All right, we're gonna come out. To come out, I want you to first press into your hands and start to walk your foot and your knee closer together. Once you reach about a half split position, then you can lift your back knee off the mat, come back into that pyramid pose, press into the hands and then swing that front leg all the way back into three-legged dog or just simply step back into your downward dog. Let's flow it out. Plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right, go ahead and now let's point the left foot and start to kick it up and lower all the way down. Up into three-legged dog and lower the leg with control for two. Kick it up and three. So as you're working with the leg, your upper body stays exactly where it is. Your shoulders are square. Your hands are grounded. Don't twist or turn your upper body. Just work the leg. Kick and lower and kick. Hold that three-legged dog, breathing deeply. Inhale. And then when you're ready, exhale, bend that knee, stepping forward towards the front of your mat. Drop the back knee to the floor and reach both arms up towards the sky into your low lunge. Beautiful, bending those elbows, opening your chest. And then from here, go ahead and just place your hands over towards your front knee, opening your body, allowing your hips to drop forward while at the same time remembering to keep that front knee directly over top of your ankle. Do not let the front knee pass your front toes. Stay here and breathe. Feel that gentle release through the psoas muscle. And then arms release at your side as you open up through the chest. Exhale, hands to the front. Lift and extend the front knee as you allow your body to release. Come on down with your back knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands down. Extend and release. Inhale, bend back knee. Open up. Exhale, hands down. Extend into your full pyramid. And again, come forward. Open the body, low lunge, drop your hips. Hands on the floor. Extend both knees, pyramid pose. Square out those hips. Hold the left hip back now. Gently push the right hip forward. Breathing deeply. Just allow your body to let go. Wonderful. Just breathe. Let yourself relax. Give yourself permission to go a little bit deeper with each exhalation. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Now come on up halfway. And then from here, let's begin to wiggle that front foot forward, back foot to the back of your mat. And just continue to move as much as you can, bringing your hands a little bit closer towards the midline, opening up the body, opening the heart. And feel free to bend that back knee if you need a little bit more support, of course. You can stay here or keep it straight. And then slowly make your way down until you hit that limit. Once you get to your position, open up the body as much as you can. Deep breath in. And exhale. Just hold it here. Feel free to close your eyes and bring your awareness internally. Just notice the sensations in your body. Remember to be gentle and patient with yourself. Don't force anything too much. Just listen to your body and with each exhalation, you may gently add a little bit more pressure with time. But once you've found that limit, then you're just gonna hold it there. You're going to allow the body to settle in and relax deeper and deeper. 
And over time, this flexibility will improve and allow you to go further and further. All right, let's release and open up through the chest. Exhale, go ahead and place your hands onto the mat. Rest into the hands, start to wiggle your front foot, back foot, and then extending into that half split or lift the back knee off the mat. Resting your weight into your hands as you bring that front foot all the way back into three-legged dog or just step back into plank position when you're ready. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, press your way back into your downward facing dog. Well done. Taking a moment and connecting with your breath and then walking your feet over towards the middle of your mat and then turn your body over so you're gonna use the width of your mat, stepping your legs out to the side, slightly pigeon toe your feet. Inhale, bring your arms up to the side, bring your body up, and then exhale, take your body all the way down into your wide-legged forward fold, reaching for your ankles, beginning to bring that forehead closer towards the mat. And breathing here, try to keep that back elongated so the spine is straight, allowing yourself to go deeper and deeper until that forehead can touch the floor. Just breathe. Find your focus. Find your presence. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Slowly come on up to halfway center. And then place your hands in front of you. Begin to bend one knee. Extend the other leg as you bring your weight over towards that bent knee. So almost like a skandhasana, except we're going to stop halfway and then switch to the other side. So we're just moving our weight to the left, to the right, nice and slow, stretching out the inner thighs. Try to get that straight leg as extended as possible and push to the other side, breathing into any tension. Great, now come back to center. Now I'm going to mirror you guys. Let's go ahead and bend your right knee and bring it down onto the mat. Left leg is extended. Now let's point the left toes and the left knee up towards the sky. This is to protect your knee. From here, you're going to come on down with your left elbow to the mat and then reach your right arm up towards the sky. So it's a little bit of a twisted variation of a single-legged frog position. And what we're doing here is going even deeper in towards that left hip. Just remember to make sure that your knee and your toes are pointed up towards the sky so you're opening through that hip joint. And again, this is to protect your knee to make sure you're not pressing or jamming any joints. Good, just keep breathing, twisting from the belly button, reaching that right arm up to the sky. Beautiful. See if we can look up towards the sky as well. Inhale one more time, deeply into the hip. Exhale, bring your gaze down. Bring your hand down. Come on up to both hands and let's just switch legs. So step right into your wide-legged forward fold. Then go ahead and bend your left knee. We're going to flex your right toes. Make sure the knee and the toes are pointed up to the sky. From here, we're gonna take that right elbow, place it down towards the mat, and then the left arm is going to come up towards the sky into your twist. Breathing deeply here. Really beginning to feel that stretch through the inner thigh, opening up any tension, any resistance in your hips. Good, just keep bringing lots of oxygen into that area of your body. This is a wonderful way to prepare our lower body to go even deeper. We're going to go into our frog posture today, as well as a full middle split to help you get deeper and deeper into your splits and expand your flexibility. Keep breathing, one more breath in. Beautiful, you guys, long exhalation out. Bring your gaze down. Let's go ahead and release your hand 
both hands on the mat. Lift yourself back up into your wide-legged forward fold. And then from here, keeping your hands on the mat, go ahead and bend your knees, bring your forehead down and roll yourself halfway. So just adding some movement and release into the hips and halfway up. Again, bend the elbows, bend the knees, roll down, roll up. And one more, make it fluid, make it fun. Great, now come on down with both knees coming into our frog posture. So now both feet are flexed. You're gonna to begin to open up your knees as wide as you can. Make sure there's a 90 degree angle in both of your legs. Your feet are flexed. You're not too far forward nor too far back. You wanna be right in the center and then come on down to your elbows. Now again, don't worry if you're super high off the ground. It is totally okay. We're gonna go deep into the hips. So wherever you are, just stay there on your elbows, or you can even place any sort of prop, like a pillow underneath your forearms. And just let yourself relax into this posture. This is a very yin-like position where we allow ourselves to relax the body into the position, telling our muscles, our myofascia to release, breathing oxygen into any areas of restriction of tension. And as you exhale out, letting go of everything that no longer serves you. Relax into this posture. Allow the force of gravity to take you deeper. All right, you guys, you're doing great. Let's slowly come back up onto our hands. You're gonna push up and just walk your knees a little closer towards the center and then come on up into your wide-legged forward fold once again. Before we get into our middle splits, let's just release any tension in the hips by swaying side to side, bending one knee at a time, just little baby movements here. You don't have to go too far. And come on up halfway, arms out to the side. Exhale, bring your body down. Come onto your elbows or your hands. Now you're gonna walk your feet out as far as you can. So if you're starting out, you might just wanna stay on your hands. If you can go deeper, come on onto your elbows. And this is where we're getting into our middle split. Now you wanna make sure, just like in the frog position, that you are completely in the center of your body, not too far forward, not too far back. And you're gonna hold, you're gonna breathe. If it's too difficult to come down onto your elbows, you're gonna stay on your hands first today. And just begin to feel how far you can come down. Don't get discouraged. Understand that you are exactly where you need to be. And that attaining the middle splits will take a lot of time and a lot of patience with your body. And through this journey, not only are we working towards the destination of achieving this posture, but we're also gaining so much benefit on our way down. So it doesn't matter where you are, you are still getting so much goodness into your body by opening the hips. All right, my friends, we're gonna come on up. So wherever you are, start to move heel toe your feet until you come into that wide legged forward fold. Beautiful. Once you get into your forward fold, Bend your knees and begin to roll up to standing nice and slow. And then from here, turning towards the front of your mat, planting your hands down and stepping back into your downward facing dog. Let's walk out our downward dog, bending one knee at a time, just letting go of any soreness, any sensations in your hips after such a deep stretch. Just walk it out and then stop when you're downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, round through into plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, let's open into upward facing dog. Exhale, press it back and release yourself into your downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the floor and sit back into child's pose, rounding out the spine. Resting your forehead on the floor, just give yourself this moment to relax. Keeping your knees closed together, 
Your hips are reaching down towards the heels. Breathe it out. Let it go. Be proud of yourself for coming this far today. And remember, you are exactly where you need to be. Everybody's on their own personal journey. And it's a beautiful journey for each of us. Take one more deep breath in. Slowly roll yourself up to seated. Reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Thank you so much for joining me today for our practice. Thank you for pushing your body for challenge.